Hey, what's up, dudes? Kublik on here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival Roleplay with our child of Adam Ghoul in Far Harbor. And the reason why my voice is somewhat less of a woo at the moment is because I was just listening to the music and the sound effects. It's so good. One of the fantastic things about building a world to live in is to make the environment feel real. And I mean, you can have some of the coolest gameplay mechanics ever, but without an environment that's fun to do them in, it really doesn't do very well. In fact, you could imagine kind of like the eternal happiness handshake of game design is a fun set of mechanics and a fun place to do them. I mean, it's something where this Bethesda just gets it, where the reflection off the water, the feeling of the oppressiveness of the dark, of the fear of the environment, the fantasticness of building up a gun to shoot through your enemies and that experience of gaining strength, the story around it, the world that feels believable, like I could actually find myself in this if somebody was to cryogenically freeze me and the world was to end. Maybe there would be a far harbor awaiting me. Maybe there would be some super mutants that would exist with their mutant hounds and attack. And it's just something that I find so cool. One of the reasons why I like video gaming, not just Bethesda, but gaming in general, is the fact that these worlds are so beautiful that these existences are so much fun. Get out of here, you mutant hound. We don't need people like you. Because you're not even people, you're dog. Damn it! I missed his head. There we go. Did not miss his chest, though. Hello, doggy! Uh, yeah, shoot him in the butt. The one place he doesn't want to be shot. And the one place he will continually be shot. Hello, skirmisher. Um, let's do your arm. Right arm's a little low. Leg's a bit better. Let's get you closer. There you go. I love the fact that our character now has enough skill in the pistol that we can be, like, creative. See how he drops his weaponry? He's a significantly less dangerous opponent when we fire at the legs and we start crippling them. Wow. Close, buddy. Close. But once again, we're just going to shoot you in the arm. There you go. Drop the arm. There you go, bro. And then you're dead. Like, it's something where if these enemies become stronger and stronger, we don't have to worry quite as much because we can remove pieces of them. Pick them apart intelligently and strategically. That was hard to get out there. I'm hearing it say, go ahead and hide a little bleeder, but honestly, big guy, I've just taken apart your opponents. Now, I mean, don't get me wrong, they ran at me. Except one. One was shooting, but from afar. This one exploded from plasma. That's all right. Happens to the best of us. I've done that multiple times, so don't feel too bad, doggy. There you are. I just see your head, though. Man, I this thing is really low on ammunition. No, we gotta get in closer. I really don't know why we haven't picked up anything really laser-based. It might actually be that we're picking up things laser-based, but we're just shooting so many bullets out of the laser-based weapon. That's really not maintaining very well. We are unstoppable! Seriously, dude, I would agree if it wasn't one-on-one -on -one kind of situation. Oh, got you. Okay, you know what? Actually, we're gonna do this. Now. Oh, he's just dead. Okay. I'm using the plasma grenades because that's just what I have available. Actually, hold on. Do I have six bottle cap mines? Ooh, baby. I meant the frag grenades. Oh, goodness. For some reason in my head, I didn't see the frag grenade being on my quick select. Ooh, buddy. Buddy, 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 buddy. We're just gonna take you out a couple easy shots. Easy, easy shots. What a good look our character has. Oh, his body what came apart. I thought that his head like stretched off and that like a weird, like ragdoll physics effect where you would have that in like a Bioshock where they just jiggle all the time after you kill him. Like that uh, was funny. Also scary because you know, you're scared of things in Bioshock. Come out, come out. Oh, that's a good line for a super mutant to say. Come out, come out wherever you are. How did I make you mad? I just showed up. You even asked for me to come back out. Dude, don't be like that. Just accept your death and you had pre-war money on you. I'm not exactly sure why, but you did. 
You know, whenever I see something like a uh, typewriter right here, I wonder if they're just going tch, 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 the super mutants, if they're actually like using it. Because all the other stuff is like knocked around, but maybe they actually kind of like the typewriter and they're like, it makes fun clicking soins. Click, 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 click. Soins. I can speak today. An automatic laser pistol is going to be pretty useful for getting us some extra ammunition for our righteous ma -tha -tha. You know, also, as I'm doing this, we talked about getting the increased uh, abilities to open up the safes. And I haven't yet done that. I've only gone one up. Because I've been focusing on trying to increase our combat abilities. The improvement to agility has been incredible. You can see it, in fact, that whenever we are in any form of vats, we're just lasting forever as we're shooting things. Uh-oh. There we go. Drop our guns. So it's something that I'm pretty proud about. I've never really focused on agility, even in my personal playthroughs. And so to see how much it improves vats, and then it also ends up improving our defense because we're in vats longer also adds a lot of just general like agility based abilities it's just i'm really looking forward to that and especially because i've always wanted to do the weird flicker effect i've always wanted to do the pistol build that has an agility focus and the fact that our endurance build dude is getting to a high enough level that we can begin to move it into the pistol request that was originally made for the design of the character it's just super exciting that yes yes we're able to become that and yes it's becoming effective so I've explored this place relatively well. I mean, a couple super mutants, but I would kind of expected to find like a magazine or something. Like, I mean, this wasn't massive, but it wasn't particularly great either. We did get a bed. And one of you, oh, a stealth boy. That's pretty sick. And one of you did make a comment on one of the messages, the the holy bed. And I was wondering, if, is there like a mod out there that whenever you find a bed in survival mode, which it's hard to have mods in survival mode. Fuck! Holy shit! Alright, we're actually pro- You know what? We talked about knocking out the legs and things? Let's do it. Just remove his ability to get to us. Uh-oh. 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 Take the leg! Take the leg! Take the leg! Take the leg! <laughs> oh god. Oh, shit. I can be honest with myself. I'm a little disappointed with how that turned out. We were so badass. And then all of a sudden the super mutant comes out. And I'm like, okay, you know what? I've just talked about this. How we can handle these guys. How we're going to kill them. How we have no problem. How legit I started sounding really intelligent with my understanding of game design. Like, come now. I got this down pat. And, uh... <laughs> I gotta say, clearly that was something special related to how the game... Oh, I wanted to kill it with a punch. Didn't work. Clearly that was special to, related to how this actual, like, world works when you attack it. Because the door just sort of, like, opened up gloriously. Like, that was really funny. I mean, I'm very, very disappointed on how I died. And now I have to kind of go through the same scenario. But that was really funny. Once again, disappointed, can find the humor in it. Oh, hey! Was not paying attention. Um, critical. Shoot that arm down, there we go. So how much damage did I take from that initial swing of that guy, who's now just become my best friend and hugging me? Uh, like nothing. Like, absolutely nothing. All right, I kinda can see you. Wow, he just stayed in place. All right, other super mutant up top still? Scream. Scream for your yes, it is. You know, I think it would be fun to have a build that does focus on like heavy weapons and creating a guy who actually punches people in the head as he's running around and hitting them. I mean, it would be something where you would use for mainly single shot weaponry that have really slow reloads. Maybe, I don't know. I'm trying to think about how that character would look. I'm hearing shots bouncing around all behind me. Ooh, that's right. Not gonna go that way yet. Hey, there you go, big guy. Uh, you don't need this. Apparently, I'm missing still. And he's dropped the gun. All right, I'm just gonna clear these guys out real quick. Couple of little montage kills. Quick note here in the before the montage kills. 
Uh, Nuka Cola machines actually change up how many Nuka Colas and types you get randomly based upon your it's reloading. So, uh, as well as a lot of the items that we find in these. So just keep that in mind that if you find like a sweet number of Nuka Colas, they're not necessarily gonna stay if you die. Okay, so no montage. I guess uh, we actually did kill everybody. So let's go up against that super immune uh, suicider again. And this time, I'm gonna be a bit more prepared with something designed to blow him up. And uh, basically a place for me to escape to. It's gonna come from this direction, run through here. If I'm not able to stop him in time, I will be able to drop the mine and escape. That sound, what is it? Door opens up. Wow, he's really far away. Oh shit, okay. Well, just let's blow him up from here. Whoop. <laughs> what a beautiful vats. That was brilliant. Apparently there's an enforcer over here too now. Who's probably gonna die from the exploding car in just a second. Hi, I'm coming out sooner. Well, I didn't get the experience from it because the car killed him. But I did get to shoot him once, which is really cool. Tactical shredding minigun. Very fun, very cool, because when you spin up the barrel, it actually cuts into your opponents. But I mean, it's super heavy, and we're just picking up to get advantage of uh, some of that experience, or not experience, but ammunition that comes with it. Dude, I love this shopping cart that they use to load up with human remains. That's funny. I mean, they start making these gore bags, which I never really understood what the gore bag was all about. Like, just a way to carry their food, I guess? But it's just kind of a funny thing where it's like, you have the shopping cart pre-gore bag. So you can almost imagine, quite actually, the analogy could be shopping through the human civilization. Ah, oh, yes, I'll take a bit of that one and a bit of that one. You load up your cart and then you later put in your grocery gore bag and take it home to cook up for the kids. Gross. You know, one of the things I actually kind of disliked about the Commonwealth was that it didn't feel like there was a lot of verticality to the land. Like, sure, there was a lot to the cities, as in you could climb something, but not a lot to the land. And I think it's funny because I just spent a couple seconds trying to climb up the wall, and I was like, man, this is annoying. But my literal thought was like, I kind of miss this. It's kind of a, a silly, I guess, wait, how much likeliness to shoot you? 77, that's worth it. Oh, wait, sorry, sorry. 81, even better. I love how our sneak attack is so low, even though we've definitely been taking so much advantage of it. Oh, hey, oh. get out of here, bro. I can't hit him anymore. There you are. Yeah, I'll shoot one into you. I'm so looking forward to when we get to start doing this shooting a person, shooting a person. I have experiments planned. Oh, I'm very excited to see what that's gonna look like gun foo was. Does it mean a 25% damage buff every time we're switching to a new target in VATS? Like that's, that's extreme. I mean, for example, we haven't saved for a little while, 35% damage increase. That's insane. So much damage is being done. I mean, look at the well dam right now, 160 damage, and then another 25% on that. That's like an extra 40 damage. So we'll be doing 200 damage because of that 25% jump thing. I don't keep moving in this direction, I guess. I'm trying to recognize where we are. Oh, it's the Cliff's Edge Hotel. Oh, I know exactly where we are. There's the National Park Visitor Center. There is the Cliff's Edge. There is the campground. We're heading to the campground right now because that will, that's actually, they had ghouls here, right? And we killed these ghouls. Yeah, that's what I remember that this was about. Uh, perhaps they have a bed here. We didn't find one before because we were kind of nervous about it and we are in a motel, so maybe it'll exist. God, these bed designs, I could sleep on that. That's like, come on, come on game, give it to me. You can take the comfy pillow. Something, you know, not really icing, but uh, it's something. It's like being told you get a whole cake, but instead they're like, actually, here's just a cookie. I mean, it's a cookie, it's, it's a, you know. I actually don't like cake, crazy, huh? I just don't have a big sweet tooth. This is a cool bridge. What is that? Oh, that's the hotel. Oh, if that's the hotel, we can just save in the hotel. Honestly, I kind of want to walk across this bridge real quick because it just seems really well designed for a bridge. Like, I was kind of expecting like a feral ghoul to come out under the bottom, like a, an art, a troll kind of joke. 
And I'm going to run into the hotel for two reasons. The first reason is because there is a bed in here, and that's cool. The second reason is because you guys all told me that one of these elevators is actually effective, and I can take it. And it's... I... And it's related to a mission, and I told you guys that when I was here, I tried to take an elevator, and it wasn't efficient. And as you can see me repeatedly jamming A, you apparently need your escort for this mission to do this. We are going to the place where we will find the escort, but I'm just making a very clear note. You do, in fact, need the escort to get into the elevator. This is honestly kind of an interesting thing to me. I'm spending time running through the entire hotel just to get to that one sleeping bag that I know is here because just dropping a save is so valuable and I mean we're also not likely to be hitting really any more opponents or anything like that it's like it doesn't really matter if we're gonna be heading towards Acadia or Far Harbor Far Harbor actually does seem kind of closer and there's Longfellow's cabin which I could fill up water and stuff on you know what? let's actually we could head straight back there I think that does make sense to do I was gonna go to Acadia to make sure that I don't accidentally screw something over but uh, I think it's okay. I think I, I feel comfortable that I won't destroy something. And all the bottles are refreshed. Do you think this is caused by the AI of the game? Or do you think that there's like people here who are in charge of this? Because I know I've heard a little bit about the mission that you guys kept telling me to take involving the elevator that I cannot lift up as I have just shown. Let me do it again. No out of order sign. No way in. Repeated bat. I'm just gonna long fellow at it for a while. Nothing. <laughs> okay. Um. On a side note, if it ends up being that it's an easy button to push, yeah. Okay. I'm an idiot. I feel stupid. However, on the off. Oh God. <clears throat> We're okay. Let's keep going. <laughs> on the off chance that there isn't a super easy button to push, um, I hope that it was funny enough. And not to rubbing it in or anything like that. Ah, check it. We have not come back to this area in forever. You know how they talked about survival mode really decreases the respawn rate. And we've made it all the way back here with pretty much nothing since the Cliff's Edge Hotel. Oh, welcome back, Far Harbor. It has been some time. Tools yet? That I did. Here are your tools. A fair bit of luck running into you. Here's your reward. Nice. Well earned. And now to work in the hull. Oh, and we got the cool shotgun, so that's why we're overweight. Hold on, so they, they want me to tell him about Avery's murder, I'm guessing is what that is. We're going to remove that, and we're just going to switch to a couple of these other things. Actually, hold on, this unyielding metal right arm, is this going to work right now because I'm super injured? Let's see, what did they say, 25% health? I'm at 102. Alright, still at 4, I have to lose more health, I'm a little... I'm a little hesitant about just losing more health, so I think I'm just gonna not worry about it right now. I'll take a Barter. Look. Avoid Dima killed Avery. <laughs> it's not what we want to say yet. I'm really looking forward to trying to get this leather left leg up because the action point refresh speed is really sick and something that will really apply well to our character. I'm gonna hold on to the unyielding right now. It might be useful. I'm not quite sure. I'm just gonna put it into a container. Because maybe there's a place where we can easily lose health and not have to worry too much about some of the negative effects. I'm going to take this opportunity before we do anything related to selling and the like to just drop a save. Let's take the smart move, run over to uh, the cabin, which I didn't realize was on this side of a little island, and say hello to Longfellow. See if uh, we can get some good sleeps, get some good waters. Hello, Longfellow's cabin. Comes with some radstag meat, too. That's pretty sick. I like that he's just living out here. It's kind of fun. Can I sleep here? Out? No, I can't sleep there. That, uh, that sucks. Why? That really sucks. Uh, unfortunately, I can't sleep in here either. Alright, so this is also a settlement. The first settlement you're technically supposed to get, which is interesting because that's not how it happened for me. So, cool. You know, I just realized I was running around frantically looking for a bed. It's a settlement. I can build a bed. I have the technology. <laughs> I can even make a fluffy white one. Perfect. I'm gonna sleep forever. Nice. And we're awake. Ten Pines Bluff suffered damage from a dangerous attack. Once again, Ten Pines Bluff, I got nothing to help you really, so. 
You know, it's interesting. Longfellow has his own cabin with his own little fog condensers. Like, that's pretty sick to have yourself. Also, apparently, you can condense fog, and it becomes an item you can use. As you can see, I'm currently looking for a little concrete so that we can get water and then take advantage of all those bottles that we were able to pick up from the Cliffside Hotel. You know, fascinating thing. I may not have the ability to make a little water thing, but I might be able to make one of these bigger ones. Uh, that's kind of sick. I guess I'll do that. Do I have enough to make energy too? Well, not only do I have enough to make energy, it's not even charging me anything to make the energy. However, I can only make one each. So if you're like me and you looked everywhere for some concrete, right inside this building right here. All the concrete you need so you can just start drinking water and filling bottles. Whew, that took forever. As ridiculously long as that was, we have 31 purified waters. I don't need that many, but it's just good enough to make sure that I've got something. Something. Because it's like, I, I just kept running out of water when we were out in the real world because I kept having to take drugs and things. And so... We have so much water now. We have so much food now. Having a settlement is definitely super vital to making these things work best. You guys check it out. I picked up a bull barrel for our pistol, the well dam. I'm pretty excited about that. Go ahead and just bring this back to a snub nose. Go ahead and then jump over to you. There we go. So what's cool is this is actually a little lighter. One pound lighter. It's the only thing that changes is just it's a pound lighter, but hey, that's pretty sick. We'll eventually get up to advanced receiver from some gun that we find, but at the moment, bull barrel was worth the buy. All right, the next thing we want to be looking at is the increased action point speed. We can bring this up to eight. Hmm. That's definitely worth bringing up to eight. It's definitely worth bringing to pocket it. And then comparing that next to 13 or eight. Well, we do get a lot more in energy resistance, which we don't find a lot of energy resistance. But I would argue the increased action point refresh speed will be useful for sprinting, will be useful for, for vats, and so I think it is valuable to make that switch. All right, let's go ahead and talk to Brooks to, to actually to do the mission system. talk. Yeah. Well, it's not something I talk about with outsiders. Yeah, it's interesting. You can either buy something or move along. I believe we give him the synth designation. I'm working with Chase. She told me that your designation is L792. Okay, I believe you. <laughs> Keep it down, all right? It's real private information. I know the synth you're talking Be a buddy about. next time. He's a younger guy. Maybe early 20s with white hair. Goes by the name Derek. Thing is, he showed up way earlier than he was supposed to. Thought a courser was on his tail, so he rushed the timetable. To be honest, the guy was a wreck. He was scared shitless, looking over his shoulder every five minutes and attracting unwanted attention. Hmm. Tried to calm him down, but he panicked and ran off into the fog. That was the last I saw of him. Bad choice. Can you tell me anything else? I'm gonna need more information than that if I'm gonna find this synth. I wish I had more to give you. He disappeared into the fog, and I haven't seen him since. Jeez. All right. Well, uh, let's uh, let's Relax. do this. I'll take care of this. Sorry, my nerves are a little shot right now. Understand. Look, if you're really going after that synth, I'm pretty sure you took the road south out of town. Maybe you could head that way. Let's Just do it. Be careful out there. And thanks. There are many who'd go out in the fog to help a synth, especially one they don't even know. I feel like shit about what happened. I really do. I hope you can make it right. Yeah. Something we can absolutely do. That's, Brooks, if that's south, I bet we can even go in hands, that direction and pretty, like, a right good next. idea, because that's where Katie is kind of south, too. You know, as cool as all this is, and the idea that we're able to get a big jump in, like, endurance and agility if things are going south... And we don't heal very quickly, so I could see that being useful. I I don't know if it's worth just carrying it around for that sake. It could be... It's a metal right arm, so it's going to have high damage resistance. But... We already have things like the lucky right arm. We already have the exterminator's combat right arm. There's, these are things that I would be using instead of it. You know? Let's say we get into a fight. Like, maybe I want to have the extra agility and perception here. But I could get an extra plus three if things are going south, but I don't necessarily want to be in a situation where things are going south. Plus, I don't know if we're going up against something like a Mire Lurk if I want to have the other that object on my arm rather than something like this, which could cut so much more damage from the actual attack. All right, I honestly could not decide what to do with this, so I'm going to put this directly into our little like safe spot. We'll just leave it there. 
it should be okay. We can also put the pocketed polished metal left leg in there just in case we want to switch to it too. Right, let's actually chat with Avery a little bit. I'm really nice curious if it's going to say like, I could relatively quiet for once. Like, confront her about who she truly is. Thoughts on Dima? You're not Captain Avery? I, I don't know what to do. I don't want to like call her out and have something really negative happen into the in the world. I mean, I'm all right with her being Captain Avery, the Sith version. We talked about that. I think I'm okay with it. It may not be the best case scenario, but it's fine. Well, let's go ahead and ca talk to Cassie, and I'll think about Avery in a second. What kind of person just shoots a man for sport? All those trappers can burn in hell. Hey. That trapper who killed your husband is dead. Then it's done. It's finally done. All those lives that were lost. All those debts finally repaid. And it was no son or daughter of Far Harbor who stood up to the island and avenged the Dalton bloodline. It was you, an outsider, a mainlander. The final chapter's been written. The story has come to an end. This is a day I never thought I'd live to see. Thank you. Welcome. Do we time to pay up? No, I feel like... Oh, explain the holotape. I found a holotape from the last guy you sent to the lighthouse. He thought your whole story was a lie. Is it? A lie? No, no. <laughs> it was true. Or at least there was truth in it. Was there a little harmless exaggeration as well? Perhaps. Uh. But some things are more important than truth. Look at you, for instance. You've seen the island's dangers and survived. You've learned something valuable. What's more, trust you. the island learned something too. It knows you're not some greenback mainlander who can't tell up from down in the fog. The island will respect you now. And that's more than I can say for most who step off the boat. You know, I'm really curious if I'm going to get a perk to help. This. I hope I've put your mind at ease. You certainly have. Now every good story's gotta have a happy ending, right? The hero finds the treasure, saves the sweetheart, and rides off into the sunset. This is an well, old-fashioned culture. I'm a little old to leap up on a horse. But I have got something close to a treasure. This is an heirloom that's been in my family for... Pistol, pistol. Oh, let me think. Oh. For at least a generation or two. There's no Daltons left to inherit the thing. So it might as well pass on to you. The island knows this weapon. Oh, yes. You carry this, and it'll take you seriously. And that's it. That's the end. I can sleep easy now. Knowing there won't be any unfinished business when they put me in the ground. Off you go now. My story's over, but yours... I think yours is only just getting interesting. Damn it! Ah! <laughs> cool weapon. Totally a cool weapon. Uh, I mean... That works, but... Oh, I was really hoping for a pistol. Big chap's got everything you need. Need to drown your troubles? Hey, Teddy! Dr. Hey, Mitch, Doc. the last plank. You are a curious specimen. Despite our friendly town doing its best to chase you out, you keep helping us ingrates all the same. Yeah. I've got to ask, why do you keep at it? Uh, I like the good people one. You're good people in some dire straits. Figured you could use a hand. Huh? <laughs> you running for office? Well, if that's the truth, we don't deserve you. Kubicon, Most 2017. Folk are set in their ways, yes? It makes no difference how hard you try to get in good with Heck, it took my family three generations before the Daltons would sell us a heel of bread. <laughs> but there's a way, a downright insane way, mind you, that you can turn even the most stubborn fool around. Tell me more. I'll hear you out. In olden times, leaders were chosen by something called the Captain's Dance. Yes. Legends say the toughest, meanest, and outright craziest hopefuls would chum the waters and lure out the worst the island could throw at them. Once the would-be captain killed the Myrler Queen, or Fog Crawler, or what ah. have you, they'd invite the whole island to feast off the bounty. 
you do this, well, you won't be made captain, but you'll earn respect. Everyone's respect. I'm ready to be a legend. I'm ready to become a legend then. <laughs> you what? <laughs> you crack me up. There's an old Meyer Lurk feasting grounds by Emmett's Causeway. A treacherous stretch along the coast. Go there and throw any kind of meat you got into the water. All that blood and viscera will be sure to attract attention. And then wait. I'll make sure there's a witness or two. Prove to the rest of these clods you belong. Holy crap. That's hey. crazy. We might actually be using this if we're going to do that. Alright, dude. So I think I'm going to end the episode here with Living on the Edge completed. Oh, man. This is getting pretty interesting. I dig this. This is like... We go back to Far Harbor, everybody's all like, ah, we're finishing missions up, getting mission levels back and forth. We're so close to getting the extra gun food thing, and I can't wait. So, thank you so much for watching. It was a total joy to have you here. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button to my side. Of course, may the ground rise, meet your feet, the wind always be at your back. May the sun shine warmly on your sexy, sexy face. Now, dudes, see you later.